Ready, sir. Start? Yes. So, this elderly man, having presented with uh, some of the travel, we have seen some of the travel. So, I would like to talk about a very important topic. It's the diagnosis of like, uh, Parkinson's disease. We're going to call the idiopathic Parkinson's. So, it has come for a voice to our mother. So yes, uh, people starting the Parkinson's, I'd like to talk some of the tremor method. So tremor, what does it really mean? Tremor starts in uh, three categories of tremors that we have. The resting tremor that we call, and secondly, the, the intentional tremor, and also the third and the postural tremor. So resting tremor that we say at the rest, and intentional tremor, that is uh, when you approaching one of the targets, when you have this sort of tremor. So this is called the intentional tremor. And thirdly, that is uh, Postural tremor, having the sustained posture that you have some of the tremor. So, this is called the postural tremor. So, these are the three categories of the tremor that you are finding. But I'd like to talk in here the resting tremor. So, this is very much important whenever it comes to the word of the resting tremor, then we call it the Parkinsonic. So, the word of the Parkinsonic, the triad that I call, that is called the BTR. That you need to learn. What is that? B for very kind of T for tremor, and R for rigidity. So now I'd like to talk the BTR in the Parkinson definitely, but I'd like to talk what happened to the Parkinson. So in a Parkinson the triad, and this is caused by the variety of the causes that involve the basal ganglia energy. So the most important cause that we need to the most common elderly person that comes up. And the number one one that idiopathic. So idiopathic Parkinson, we call it Parkinson's disease, the disease itself. And secondly, that we need to accept the sound of the drug induced Parkinsonism. And thirdly, the Parkinson plus syndrome. There are varieties of the Parkinson. Oh, yeah. The sound of the PHS, we call the Parkinson plus syndrome. And fourthly, the Wilson's disease. The three important diseases that we need to talk to exclude them so that we can get the idiopathic Parkinson. So, yes, the, I would like to talk. The first thing is the idiopathic Parkinson, that is the Parkinsonism. So what happened in the Parkinson's disease? I said the Parkinson's disease is the degenerative of the degeneration. So degeneration means the degeneration of the night goes tight. So the nerves, the dopaminergic nerves. So I said the degeneration of dopaminergic nerves. And dopaminergic nerves releasing the dopamine, and this dopamine is responsible for the dynamism. So I said once again, Parkinson's disease is the degenerative of dopaminergic nerves that leads to the dopamine, so dopamine will be reduced, and this dopamine is responsible for dynamism. So dynamism will be reduced. So dynamism means the kinesia and the movement. If to stop, hello, AJ, AJ. So what I said that dopaminergic nerves degeneration leading to the dopamine arrow down means the dopamine will be reduced. So that the dynamism will be reduced. That is called the kinesia means the movement will be reduced. So the first and most pathognomonic features is a reduced movement that we call the Freddy Kinesia. Uh, movements having the two important components that is, I call the amplitudinal speed. So here yeah, the both amplitudinal speed will be reduced. So in a Parkinson's disease, the degeneration of the dopaminergic nerves leading to the dopamine getting down. So that the dopamine will be reduced, so that's where the dynamism will be reduced, that leads to the once again the Freddy Kinesia. So the Freddy Kinesia is the most important point for the Parkinson's disease. So what is the treatment target should be? Treatment target should be, yes, we can give some of the dopamine supplement or we can give some of the dopaminergic nerves agonist so that the dopamine can rest. Like the diabetic patient, that if the patient having no receptors, so yes, so we, what do we need to do? No insulin, so we need to supplement the insulin. If the patient some of the hand, yes, some of the receptors to work, yes, some of the insulin beta cells are remain reserved, so we can, yes, induce to release some of the insulin, like the supplement nucleus. So here it was the same talk. If the patient having the, yes, some of the dopaminergic receptors, so we can induce them by dopaminergic receptor antagonists. So we call the dopamine receptor antagonists. If the dopamine receptors are damaged, absolutely absent, all right, in that case, we can start the dopamine supplement, that we call the levodopine target. So that's why having some of the younger group of patients, less than 65 years, we should start the treatment dopamine receptor agonist because of some of the dopamine receptors are there result. Secondly, yes, if the elderly person like them more than 65 years, we expect that the patient or elderly person doesn't have the that amount of dopamine receptors. So that you can use the dopamine supplement like the level of one. 
So now I'd like to show some of the features the Parkinson disease. I said the Parkinson disease is the PGR, radical initial tremor and rigidity. So along with the one the most important point, the postural instability. Because the postural instability, so I, I not, I'd like to now add now P T and R as well as P. So I can P T R P T R P. So all them together you need to remember so that you can make good diagnosis. Elderly person having the fall, the history of recurrent falls, the most important diagnosis you should think about is the Parkinson's disease. So I'd like to show now the first point, the very kind of Now the first one, come close now, close to the hands now. Happy heart to get a compound. So you see, he is unable to do so. Here, the speed is not enough. So this is bradykinesia, the test that we need to do. Clear. Immediately after the bradykinesia, then we need to look for tremor. So we put the hands onto the lap and to show them tremor, normal rack and bone. So, body acting a bish portion the count for the barbecue. You just look at that. Acting a bish portion the count for Ball and act three. Ball and? Zure, zure. Zure, zure. Act three, ten, five, five, seven. Ulta count for the barbecue. Bish, uni, shirkum, bode barbecue. Hmm? Bish, uni, something like that. Bish, uni, atharo, irkum, ulta count for the barbecue. Just look at that. Yes, just now face on to me. So, the test that we do, the test that we do, the tremor test is very much important. That we would like to tell to the patients to distract his mental concentration onto the hands by saying that can you count 20 and backwards, like the 20, 19, 18, so that you can distract him, so that you can get down tremor in his hands, like that we have seen to talk to him so that the tremor is increased, something like that. So this is the tremor test. And immediately after the tremor, then you need to show, once again, the rigidity. What rigidity? He has the cockpit rigidity in the hands. So you need to test, but before hands that tell him, do you have any the pain at the wrist or not? Apna hathi ki vetha asa? Right. So yes, you have to tell him to see the rigidity here. So yes, he has the rigidity. You see the rigidity. Come close, come close. I'm feeling this rigidity. So he has the rigidity. Apna naam ki bolay? Bhuzlu Rahman Khan. Bhuzlu Rahman. So this is also another distract that we can do in that way, so that you can see the rigidity more and more. And once again, in these hands, with it in the cannula here. So our body ko thay. So yes, we are getting the typical rigidity here. Means the cogul rigidity. So cogul rigidity is the combination of tremor and the rigidity, so that you can get the findings here. So another test that we can do. Apni baba hatta irakum korun. Then thappur then jide thakin, jide thakin, jide. Korun korte thakin apni. Ami ita dekbar. So yes, this is the rigidity test that we need to do. So the rigidity is increased now. So this is the cogul rigidity here. So same thing, you need to tell him to do this one. Bamate korena. So once again, we are looking for the rigidity here. So this, the tapping onto the thigh and the other hands and seeing this one rigidity. So sometimes we call the synkinesia, synkinesia. So yes. So these are the three important tests that we need to show: bradykinesia, then the tremor, and the rigidity, and also having the postural instability that we call the propulsion and the retropulsion. We call the sometimes the pull test. Pull test means that you pull the patient forwards. That is called the propulsion test. And also you pull backwards. That is called the retropulsion test. But this shouldn't be done in your exam setting. But you need to know about it how to do that. The postural instability. What is the development? Some of the postural instability, what you do, if the patient is standing, you just tell him that I'd like to give you a support, but I'd like to give a good pull forwards and give a good push onto the forwards if the patient gets fall. So this is another subtle test that we can 
do the question and the tendency to fall. So you can get it. So if you do the pull backwards towards you, so this is also the pull test. So in that way, this is called the retropulsion. With the propulsion and retropulsion, by doing this test, that you can see some of the subtle having tendency to the fall. You can test them, you can get them. So we started with the ready condition, we, we done the tremor and then the rigidity and the postural instability that the test, the pull test. The most important talk, my dear, Parkinson disease is that we need to exclude the other differential diagnosis that we have said that first one is the Parkinson plus syndrome. So what the Parkinson plus syndrome? There are three important things that you need to do. One of the important Parkinson plus syndrome that we call the progressive supranuclear holes in that and the name is the Stinney Richardson Holes Escape Syndrome, I call the SROS. That should be excluded by doing a test because the progressive supranuclear palsy, supranuclear, the word in the health, the upward and downward with the particle gets palsy. So you need to do the test. So yes, he can able to do so, the vertical gauge is absolutely present. So if the patient unable to do the vertical gauge policy, it means the upward, unable to do the upward, unable to do the downward, the diagnosis should be along with the Parkinson features, along with the down vertical gauge policy, the diagnosis should be gives the shy trigger. Sorry, this is the progressive supranuclear palsy. Progressive supranuclear palsy needs the Parkinson features along with the vertical gauge palsy. Usually they have comes up with the down gate palsy, then there will be up gate palsy. Usually the patient unable to read the paper, newspaper, reading books is unable to be presenting features. So start with the yes, the, what I said, the first one is the Stevie Richardson Walzeski syndrome or progressive supranuclear palsy. Second to the progressive supranuclear palsy, yes, my dear, the second important diagnosis that we call that the multi system atrophy. Multi system atrophy, once again, it includes the shy trigger syndrome, the first one. I say that some of the shy, shy means sometimes, uh, yes, uh, yeah, the human being, right, like the male person having getting shy if there is an erectile dysfunction. So we can keep in our mind the erectile dysfunction, this is the shy. So the shy trigger syndrome is there. So once again, the shy trigger syndrome, shy starts with the erectile dysfunction, is nothing but the sympathetic activity, means the autonomic neuropathy. So autonomic neuropathy, the most important feature of the shy, once again, the erectile dysfunction and dragger, trigger syndrome, and the D for drop that you need to remember, the posture. These two important features that you need to look for, ask him any of the erectile dysfunction, along with yes, once again, the second talk. Do the postural blood pressure, means the lying and standing blood pressure. You can drop more than 30 by 50, or sometimes some of the books write 20 by 2.